start we loosen the screw of the BK98A universal jig make sure the four jaws is loosened and can adjust easily then we place the stencil of the BG onto the stencil holder and secure with the screw at this moment it is not necessary to tighten the screw as further alignment is required at a later stage and then put the BGA onto the universal jig and adjust the jaw to fit the BGA size make sure the BGA is sitting as center as possible to the universal jig and tighten the jaw after that, put a stencil on top of the BGA and align the stencil and tighten the position of the BK98A check make sure the BGA is secure and then put the stencil back and align the stencil to the BGA okay. upon confirming the stencil hole position is in line with the BGA solder ball position secure the stencil holder after that we adjust the height if let's say the stencil is too low or too high to the BGA adjust the BGA or rather the height between the BGA and the stencil on average there should be a standard clearance of 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 mm okay, depending on the size of the BGA solder the smaller the diameter of the solder BGA the lower is the height And then we start to apply a thin layer of flux on the BGA make sure that the flux is evenly applied after that put the BGA back to the universal jig make sure it's sitting properly okay. put the stencil back and before that check that the 
position is aligned okay, and check for any excess flux at the bottom of the stencil if there are some flux stain that means the flux has applied too much if it is too high then we will reduce the height of the holding jig after that we put the stencil back and pour in the solder balls onto the stencil and shake lightly make sure all the holes on the stencil is filled with the solder ball remove the stencil holder and put it in a slanting position this to prevent the solder from dropping out through the hole from the stencil after that take out the VGA and put it on the high temp cloth which is provided and place it at a heater plate to melt the solder while heating up and melting the solder ball check that the solder does not cause any bridging due to excessive or flux once the solder is fully melted the process is considered complete